Hi friends, the Mog One finally got this 1.5 firmware update after two years, I don't know. I didn't care that much because it's an analog synth, I don't know this firmware thing, but there were quite a few things uh, that people complained about, especially the tuning and everything. So how do you do it? You download it, uh, probably you've seen the video there, but I found some things uh, uh, that could be done better. Uh, you download this fi file and it's a, a folder called Moog One uh, version 1.50 and then you got this Moog One USB drive driver. The, this USB drive is probably for Windows. Uh, if you work on a Mac uh, it's not that big deal. I think it's class compliant and uh, it's uh, uh, combining uh, the Moog with the Mac immediately. So that one, there was there are some questions, it's probably for window, Windows if you want to um, connect via USB to Windows. Um, for whatever, probably uh, uh, playing in a DAW or something. Um, then you got this uh, um, Moog One firmware update PDF and uh, this exe, don't use that. Um, first of all, uh, take a USB stick. Uh, and I found that uh, different USB sticks, uh, some of them don't work. Yes, uh, it must be a quite a fast one or a new one. I don't know what's the reason, but I found two sticks didn't work. Uh, uh, this stick finally worked and you uh, put it in there. But first of all, uh, FAT32, uh, it must be formatted. You know how to do this uh, on, on Mac or on Windows PC. That's quite easy. Um, and then uh, some people do a mistake and they, they put the whole folder Moog 1 version 1.0 uh, onto this plug it in and it doesn't recognize it. The firmware itself, of course, is only uh, under one Moog, one firmware, one point. It's the same folder within the folder. And within this folder, there's version, version 1.50, and that's 156.6 MBs. And that one you put on. Lisa's wonderful presets, so th this is another deal, but you wanna upgrade the firmware now. So put only this one file, 156.6 MB onto this USB stick, then put it in here, and then you go into settings and uh, utilities, and uh, there's uh, update firmware, and you press it and it recognizes this, and then you do it. And the whole process is not four or five hours, it's about eight or 10 minutes, yes? I don't know how long it took, but it was quite uh, very stable and no hassles at all. Uh, you switch it off, switch it on again, then it starts and you can play immediately. But the other thing is uh, if you want to uh, calibrate the whole thing, there are two uh, uh, opportunities. One is the voice card ca uh, calibration, the other one is the oscillator calibration. Yes, compensation they call it. And that was their approach, uh, they already had it to, uh, if it gets out of tune, the further you get go down low here. I didn't have that issue. It, it also depends on the sounds you do sometimes, but there were issues and you do this calibration. It's, it's virtually done and it's not optimum. Uh, that's what I think, but uh, the voice cut calibration should be done. You take the TRS uh, uh, line out here, left and right, and put it into the make and line in. So you need two cables, uh, TRS uh, or TR, and put them in there and then you uh, press uh, shift and settings and they say polyphony more but there is no more button here i just found sh shift and settings went into utilities here and somewhere i found this voice card calibration thing and then you push and then you can go golfing or, or sailing or whatever you want to do it takes four to five hours uh, don't uh, lose your nerves on that. Uh, it worked. It worked fine. And after that, uh, you have the same thing you had before. You can can play again with this uh, wonderful synth and everything. And when, what you find immediately, it's in, in, in tune. So what is new? Uh, um, I probably, I'm not sure, I got the uh, impression uh, that synth effects, there are some new effects or the quality was better for me, but maybe I'm wrong on that. Everything works fine, uh, this tuning issue is gone, but they say this CV thing now is uh, quite uh, a new thing uh, that's uh, uh, interesting. So let me just check one thing with the CV. So I have CV1 in and I'm going from the, from the clock of the matriarch the clock of the arpeggiator of the sequencer here 
into here and then I go into settings here and say CV1 should be sequencer run and stop and once I start it here the sequencer here should be starting let's have a look uh, I just check wow okay that quiet the timing is the same yes this is a great thing and if I change it here See? It's in time, and that was what I wanted. I don't like this MIDI stuff with syncing. This is CV, you know? And maybe I can even sync the uh, delay and the matriarch. And then I stop, and it stops. And and this is really great. You see, I've got a euro rack here, so now I'm getting into it. This was CB one. Uh, maybe I can take a, a, a CV out here and trigger the stereo delay or take that. And uh, uh, there's a lot of CV outs here so that I can use this and go into the modulation here, the oscillators, or play along even gate CV. I'm not sure if, if it's uh, gate CV, CV outputs. Uh, let me have a look. Um, so the function is just source uh, none, 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 blah, 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 pitch, gate, yeah. The first ones are that. I'm not sure if it was uh, possible before, but um, there's much more. There's gate velocity, pitch wheel, there's mod wheel, after touch, after touch, pad X, pad uh, Y, uh, y pad pressure, pad gate, CV1 input can be source of CV out one. Uh, so you can reroute some things. Uh, the sustain pedal, I also have a sustain pedal here. Uh, so all in all, uh, um, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but uh, a matriarch with this, or I'm getting a Voyager soon, it also has this uh, CV extension. So for me, optically, the Voyager uh, with this here and the CV extension is a perfect couple uh, that you can get into this modular thinking. I'm coming from modular here and have really fun with it. So the rest is up to you. I don't need presets of other persons. I have a strong opinion. If you spend so much money, you're able to program it uh, uh, on by yourself. And this synth is, is incredible. Yes. I, I still believe. Uh, do your own, own sounds. <laughs> And uh, just sp spend a little time on that, and, and you find it's a recording. I'm programming this thing, and uh, so it's in tune perfectly. Firmware 1.5. Thank you, Moog. And uh, this is the beginning of a new exploration for me, especially with the CV things. A lot of people complaining, well, CV I don't need. I need it because this makes this a center of really uh, addressing this or addressing all this uh, euro rack. Like the morphogene here, I can trigger the morphogene from the CV out uh, and voices along with this, which leads me to experimental fields, uh, working with samples and all these things. So um, I think it's a great uh, upgrade and um, let's see what comes in the future. And there are still some things I'm not sure if uh, I can address uh, destination. Um, no, still still not. Uh, I would like to, to see that I can use an LFO uh, and uh, uh, you, um, have a destination through the synth effect. 
uh, here. Uh, <clears throat> this still doesn't work. Maybe in the next update, that would be nice. Uh, some addresses here don't function. That, that still don't function. But I'm very happy with it. So uh, stay in tune. Uh, next, my next since will be the OBX8 from Tom Oberheim. I have the Prophet 10 here and the the Quantum. Uh, so this is a perfect surrounding for a pro, and I'm a pro, and this is what I need. For me, it's a real beast. And uh, I also made a comparison between uh, the Matriarch because I really love the sound of uh, of the Matriarch here, uh, and always thought, ah, I cannot do this. Uh, but I found uh, that you, if you take care, here it's again ab uh, about the programming. Um, even with one oscillator and you, you do a little uh, detune in the polyphony section here, or uh, unison, uh, you g really get kind of the same sounds uh, that I get on the Matriarch. Um, I can prove it uh, with uh, Isotope Inside if you want, but uh, believe me, uh, I got there and got the same sort of mojo on this machine also if I play it monophonically uh, or just in mono mode. So, have a nice time. Thank you. Bye.